Now this part really what rustles my jimmy. Damon Lunan l goes in front of me trying to yeet out of existence. He dies! Hello memers and officers of the law and welcome to talking about the absolute aggravation and upset you will find from absolute noobs who play on ready or not servers. From getting in front of your gun, field of fire, to improper use of tactics, to not checking their corners, to even friendly firing on you. Or as the Americas call it, friendly so let's start off with tactics. I'm gonna show you some clips, talk down in the comments below and tell me what should have happened. No cheating. Right, let's start with the first clip. What we have here is a nice, long, smooth corridor with SWAT officers on one side and the enemy on the other. What should have happened here is we mount up behind the shield man and push forward. But as you all know what happens next, play the clip along. Now this part really what rustles my jimmy. Damon Lunan l goes in front of me trying to yeet out of existence, which results in me not being able to fire where my shots are lined up, which also means I cannot tactically support this situation. Oh, also results in Floyd here going backwards. So in conclusion, we have terrible body positioning, terrible ability to use the cover provided by a teammate, and to top it all off, he dies. On to the next clip. No tax. Loud entry. So, let's start with this frame right here. As you can see, you have Shields Timmy and Shotgun Bob on the left and right side, respectively. Facing directly out the door, not behind any cover. Well, I suppose you could say right shield, right shield Timmy has cover, but you know, Bob out there with a shotgun has no cover. Which would result if a suspect fired through the door in Bob's death and Timmy's PTSD treatment. <laughs> Right, this next part bare annoys me. Like, right, this dude goes in behind the shield, dude. And, right, you know what? You know, you know what? Yeah, just watch for a second. Why does he move to the right? Someone explain this to me, please. Not to mention this face palm moment where literally none of them are using the shield as cover. Right, I apologize for going off on a bit of a tangent there, but that is some of the really stupid tactics you will find in Ready or Not when it comes to breaching doors or trying to get rid of a barricaded suspect down a long corridor. No one uses cover, no one has any idea what they're doing, and no one talks to each other. It, it, it's, it, it's not what you want to hear, but it's On to the next part. Mics. Microphones. The things you use to communicate with people on every online game, from Gary's Mods to Ready or Not to Squad. Something most Ready or Not players who play it have never heard of if they're English speakers. Every other country has microphones. Good for them. I'm glad their economies are doing well. But you will be very hard-pressed to find, one, a British server with British speakers, and two, the British speakers to provide tactics. Let me show you. Hello, senors, do you have mics? Hello, senor, yeah. Oh my god, senor, you have mic. Yay! Yeah, senor. Only for you, senor. Now, I'm going to speed this footage up with some epic music, and you will notice very quickly, literally the rest of this operation, none of them use their microphones. So... was sped up by 500%. And if you notice, I'm the only one talking and trying to provide tactics that entire bloody clip. You do not understand how aggravating it is to have that. Like, no one, you know they have mics and they don't talk. Like, how much of a noob do you have to be to not use your microphone in a tactical base shooter? Oh, by the way, here's the other extreme of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Attention, ça arrive, je pense, je les entends. Le shield, avec euh, Alt enfoncé et euh, Z et S, tu peux t'amuser à régler ta, ta hauteur. Now, yes, it could just be a problem with the servers and the fact that they don't allow you to look for a server list, it just puts you in a game. But I think that really shows a Spanish... I think they're French, actually, sorry. Just be prepared to join games with people who will talk tactically, but speak in a totally different language to you. I just realized while recording this, yes, that probably makes me the noob for not being multilingual. Right, on to the next 
next clips. I'm going to put up some clips again. Tell me what's wrong down in the comments below with timestamp. I will speak to you after this segment. Oh, gun, gun, gun. There's one, one shooter in the hallway. And let's not forget the fact that sometimes the uh, the, the people you're working with, the, the other SWAT team members, will just... Don't forget the other SWAT team members will just randomly execute civilians. Like this. Not cool. Not cool. So yeah, it can be kind of annoying to play as a SWAT member in this game when you're with other players. Randomly killing civilians when you're trying to get that epic S plus tier. It, it, it just doesn't work, really. Oh, and let's talk about the grouping up. Like, look at these guys, like, trying to be all tactical going around this corner while literally being on top of each other to the point you can see their guns aren't even properly at the ready. Oh, there goes the first guy. Oh, there goes me. This is what I mean about body positioning in these games. I mean, obviously, we had M young Mercer discussing it while playing the game, and now you have old Mercer discussing it now. But body positioning just makes no sense in this game. I mean, no one does it. No, <coughs> no one talks about body positioning. No one seems to do it. All they care about is looking cool like they're in the goddamn movies, and this ain't a Michael Bay film, and they're not the main character. The amount of times you can just get killed because of a lack of cover from your teammates, or just people not watching their backs, is unblinking believable. So, what should you take away from this? Body positioning in this game does not exist, and anyone who thinks it does is lying to themselves. Honestly, no one knows what they're talking about. No one knows what they're doing. Some people try and play tactically, but, you know, they just don't. I mean, honestly, we've had, what, two major problems, body positioning and mics. They go suddenly mute. Why do they go mute? That makes no sense in a tactical-based police shooter. It's such noob behavior. While recording this session, I gotta mention a third minor detail. They kept friendly firing me. Yeah, it's rewind time. Right, so let's move on to the segment on how not to be a noob. Hello, everyone, and welcome to how you can play this game tactically without dying. First of all, open this door. Go through here. Don't get too close to the door wall because the wall will get you killed. Check this corner. Move over to the left. Go here. Check right. Okay, clear. Push forward. Don't stay too close to the wall. The wall will get you killed. Peek gently. Use the alt key and the WASD to move your character into certain positions. Hide more of your body. You can get all the way down here. Peek. Peek low. Bang. Bang, bang. You're peeking. You're peeking. You're peeking. Right, push up. You've got a nice bit of cover here. Or concealment. Bang. Check there. Remember, the alt key is your best friend here. Check the corner. Push up slowly. Tell me what you thought of the video in the comments down below. Don't forget to like as well if you did enjoy or dislike if you didn't. It doesn't hurt me. just keeps me updated. Also, don't forget to subscribe. By the way, thank you to our YouTube members here and our Patreon members here.